Hurricane Sandy is such an unusual storm, a once in a generation event. Sam is leading our team coverage this morning from Lower Manhattan. And Sam, what exactly makes Sandy so different and so powerful? Oh, George, there's a huge list about that this storm. But first, let's start with the size of this thing. We're going to show you the 3D satellite view, and you're going to see these clouds that stretch from, well, really, Bermuda all the way up the coastline, take it to Hudson Bay in Canada and beyond to the Arctic Circle. Then with the 3D view, you can actually see there's been a little center. We've been able to see some eye in this storm periodically, and then it seems to go away. Some people are surprised this storm, though, moving north, gained a little strength overnight last night, and it did that because it moved into the warmer waters of the Gulf Stream. It's this little current of warm water that runs just off the eastern seaboard, and it gives that storm the little oomph it needs before it starts to head toward the coastline. All experts are still pointing this storm toward the shoreline just at around midnight to 1 o'clock this morning, somewhere near that Atlantic City area. Now, all morning long, we're going to show you pictures of damage from this storm. And remember, all of these pictures we show you this morning are with this storm more than 200 miles off the coastline. Hurricane Sandy is currently more than 200 miles east of Cape Hatteras, North Carolina, but already its effects have been devastating. Look at this house in Rodanthe, North Carolina. Parts are breaking off and falling into the ocean. Dare County, North Carolina saw nearly six inches of rain in the past 24 hours. We got about eight to nine inches of water on our property. There are many places like Norfolk, Virginia, where low-lying streets are already flooded, and there are thousands of customers without power. 85 mile an hour winds are already churning the surf. Sandy's winds could be up to 90 miles an hour this afternoon, just short of a category two. All of this power, all of this damage, and Sandy is still well offshore. What makes Sandy special? This time of year, most tropical storms and hurricanes move east out to sea. Sandy's traveling north and will turn west, so its effects will be felt over a large land area. And this storm is monster sized. Clouds stretching over 2,000 miles, tropical storm force winds more than 1,000 miles. And as Sandy makes its way up the eastern seaboard, it is colliding with an Arctic cold front from the west. Add in the 150 mile plus winds of the jet stream, and Sandy is a superstorm. This storm is going to be destructive, historic, and unfortunately life threatening. And we've got to talk about wind and rain from this storm first. Those are first the likely things that will cause the most damage early on in this storm. Quick look at its wind field and it'll show you this is not a coastal system. Watch this thing come on shore and then it spreads winds all the way in toward. Well, look at that. Chicago, you're getting winds from this all the way down south. Atlanta, you'll be feeling the winds from this storm. Take a look at the rainfall. And again, this is not just a coastal storm. The heaviest rain is definitely where this storm will come on shore, though. 